So it's been decided that your mental illness would benefit from talk therapy. Maybe you're nervous. How does it work? Will it be effective? What is it like? Talk therapy is exactly as it sounds. You'll visit with a counselor or psychologist, probably in an office somewhere, and just talk. Is talk therapy an effective form of treatment? While there's no set formula on what works and what doesn't, effectiveness will rely on the individual's commitment and ability to participate in the discussions and to also practice any tips that may be suggested in their day-to-day -day lives. Some patients are incapable of effectively using the tools learned in therapy due to learning disabilities or memory impairments. If their anxiety is still too high, they may not be able to remember the tools during a severe moment. Even through all of that, psychotherapy gives the patient someone trustworthy and unbiased to talk to about their issues and discuss how they might be able to work towards handling stressful situations. Sometimes just having someone to talk to can be a great help. Talk therapy can teach ways of coping with emotions and other stressors in your life. It can also help you find healing from anxiety, depression, trauma from your early years that maybe you never had a chance to work through. Maybe all these things are affecting the way you approach things in life now. The American Psychological Association details five broad descriptions of psychotherapies, otherwise known as talk therapies. Some of them are behavioral therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, humanistic therapy, psychodynamic therapy. There's even holistic or integrative therapy, which combines elements from the different types of therapies in order to help the patient where the patient is at. During CBT, Counselors help patients recognize and change negative or unhelpful thoughts or behaviors. Take the person suffering with borderline personality disorder. They may constantly think that they're, that they're bad and that everyone is going to see that and abandon them. The counselor can help the patient figure out the cause of these feelings. Maybe the pa patient had a parent who left and they feel responsible. The counselor can help them see that the issue was the parent's failing and inadequacy and nothing that they did as a child to, could cause it. From there, the counselor can help the patient work towards changing their beliefs that everyone will abandon them and help them work towards establishing stronger friendships with others instead. With psychodynamic therapy, the counselor talks to the patient about the unconscious driving factors behind their thoughts and behaviors. The counselor and patient can then work together to develop ways to overcome these driving factors. The, per the person with a personality disorder may have vastly overwhelming thoughts and emotions. With psychodynamic therapy, the counselor works to find coping exercises to help the person control their emotions in a given situation. They might teach meditation techniques or make some suggestions for alternative ways to relieve stress when the patient is overwhelmed. Talk therapy is helpful if the patient is willing to participate and work with the counselor towards developing healthier habits and skills. There are many other types of therapies that counselors use, and there's no one-size-fits-all solution. Each therapist will evaluate the situation and alter their plan towards what they believe the patient will benefit from the most.